Well, what are the choices that will get us to focus on God? Number one, make a choice to read God's word before social media or any online activity every day. So here it is. If you've been in very many classes, look at this. Every day you have a choice of this first or this first. Do you know what this is? Social media, the portal to the world. This is the doorway to God, the word of God. That choice reflects Christ's word, seek first the kingdom of God. Number two, create an intentional place of solitude so you can not only read God's word, but avoid distractions. In other words, I have a place set up. I have my Bible, I have my journal, I have my pen. I have it all set up so that when I stumbled out this morning at 5.20 a.m., it was all set up. I didn't have to look for it, I didn't have to find it. All I had to do is push the button on the coffee machine and sit down and start studying. And I told you yesterday, I'm studying through the 52 greatest chapters. Why? Because the most vital part of your day is your devotional time. Jesus called this living by every word of God. See that? Matthew 4.4. 4. Number three, decide you'll start a new habit. Pray or meditate on a verse instead of listening to music for 15 minutes a day as you drive or walk or ride. This can transform our travel time into an offering to God. So you turn off everything else and you, you take a portion of scripture and you meditate on it and you read it out loud or you quote it out loud or you listen to it and you make that time like we saw yesterday for the basics. Do you remember that in the class yesterday? The basics, listening to God, eating God, speaking back the truth to God, sharing the truth about God, those four basics of eating and chewing and, and uh, meditating and witnessing. Number four, take the huge step of fasting from the ultimate distraction of media. Skip a whole day of going online or social media and fast and instead memorize a verse that day. I, I was just, uh, I was at a conference. It was a conference of missionaries that were going to the darkest spot on earth, a land of 1.3 billion people with more idols, millions of idols in that place. And uh, I was challenging them to get in the word. And I said, I'm going to have you do a quiz. And they each got a little piece of paper. And I says, I want you to do this. Write down how much time you spend on Facebook, how much time you spend on Pinterest, how much time you spend on Snapchat, how much time, I guess now it's TikTok, uh, how much time you spend, you know, on games each day. And you know what was so interesting? No one even paused. They grabbed the piece of paper and I could see them all writing, you know. Uh, you know, 20, 10, 25, you know, 40, you know, 120 minutes, you know, depending on how much time. And I said, okay, it takes 72 hours to read the whole Bible. That's 15 minutes a day. I said, how many of you, how many of you have read the whole Bible through in your life? in front of me were over 200 vocational missionaries supported going to the mission field. How many of you have read the whole Bible through? Raise your hand. There was kind of looking around. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm really interested. How many of you have read the whole Bible? Out of 250, not 10%, the whole Bible. They didn't have 15 minutes a day. I said, look back at your sheet. Total it up. 160, 185, 195, 215. That's three hours and what, 35 minutes on my sheet here? That's what one of them had. How much time they spent on Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok, gaming, um, and watching movies. Three hours a day. I said, why don't you just take 10% of that, 30? minutes. Do 15 minutes in the Word and 15 minutes in Scripture memory and praying those verses. Take a fast. Take time. Invest it with God. Number five, finally, if the Lord is able to give you enough grace, have a no TV, no video, no social media, no gaming for a whole week. It'll change your whole life. Read a book. Read about C.T. Studd. Uh, read an entire book of the Bible at one sitting. It only takes like an hour to read. I mean, you can read almost three quarters of the books, especially in the New Testament, in an hour or less. It's amazing. Why? 
because Romans 12 says, the only way to avoid affluenza is presenting ourselves back to God as a living sacrifice. That's the only way we avoid end of days spiritual blindness. And that comes because materialism blinds us, affluenza infects us, and we stop seeing God and hungering for his word. That's the message Christ gave to the last church. But that's also the message that Christ gives to us today.